All right, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be making origami paper ornaments. So let's get going. All right, so for this project, you're gonna need more than the ordinary supplies that we normally use. So let me tell you what the supplies are. Uh, what you're gonna need is a piece of paper. Um, I don't have one right now, but you need also uh, something that's round to trace. Uh, you also need a pair of scissors and some glue and a paper clip or a piece of string. Uh, hole punch is optional. And a bowl, of course, some colors. So what you're gonna do first is find something that's nice and round, such as like a mug, or I have like this uh, container for utensils. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace uh, how many sides of the ornament I want. So if you want four, then trace four. If you want six, if you want 10, then trace 10. It doesn't matter how many you have. Um, it'll work for any amount. Just don't do less than uh, five, or sorry, less than four. Uh, otherwise, it'll doesn't it won't get that like a uh, ball shape when you're done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trace about a total of five circles. So here I go, and then we're not gonna cut them out yet. We're gonna design them uh, before we cut them out. So here's one, here's two, here's three, four. It doesn't need to be perfect because you will be cutting, you will be cutting all this area over here, so you can do anything you want in those areas. All right, so I have five sections right here. I can put my little handy tool right now. What's gonna happen now is you're gonna decorate inside the circles anything you want. So it could be like your name, it could be holiday themed, stuff like that, anything you want basically. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some simple things that could spark the imagination of what you want to do maybe. So maybe I'll do a tree. So here's my tree trunk, sorry, tree trunk. <laughs> I will do a line on each side, and then I will start a dot right there, and I'm just gonna zigzag down. Zigzag on one side, and zigzag on the other side. Ta-da! And if I want, I can decorate it with ornaments. So why don't I do some reds, yellow maybe? Yellow might look cool as a background. So again, I don't need to stay inside the lines. If you want to, it's good practice. But you'll be cutting this paper anyways. There you go. Nice and red. Now this project does work with construction paper, so if you want to use construction paper instead too, it'll probably give it a cool effect also. Alright, so my next item I want to draw will probably be a snowman. So here I go. Body, body. And last part is on top, but I think the top end, I want to make it into a hat. There you go. And then I want to do the arms like this. So one on bent, and the other one kind of holding the hat. There we are. Let's do the eyes, mouth, buttons in the front, and of course the carrot nose. There you go. Nice and cute. All right, for this background, why don't I do a random color? This color will look nice. Now, you don't have to go as fast as I am either. Um, I'm just rushing to get five done real quick so I can show you guys how to build this uh, so-called three-dimensional origami ornament. It shouldn't be too hard. All right, for the next one, I think I will do... I guess I could do an ornament within an ornament. That's too simple. Why don't I do a snowflake? Most people don't know how to draw snowflakes. I only know how to draw a couple of them, but here we go. I'm going to draw a wide X on each of those points. I'm going to draw these, just like so. I'm going to draw a line down the middle, and that line down the middle will have some stuff too. And then I shall draw more of these Vs on each of these ends right here doesn't fit it's okay but it should look somewhat decent there you go if you want to add more on the side you can just a couple asterisks here and there to symbolize snow there we go snowflakes that one was a pretty easy one I think for that one we'll leave the background white um, I thought about coloring it blue but that'd be weird all right my well, next one why don't I draw a Christmas hat I guess I could do that let me draw a fluffy cloud in the bottom. And then of course, a fluffy ball. 
just like so. And then a red marker to symbolize how the hat will be. Be bent. There we are. Little smear, but it's all right. All right, I don't think this is red. That's violet red. Let's see, is this red? Red orange, red orange should work. I think my background should be this color. That color doesn't want to come out, so I'll just use this one. Cool. Alright. I only got one more circle to go. Uh, depending on how many circles you do, it might take you a little longer or a little less. Alright. I think for my last circle, um, I think I'm just going to do a string of Christmas lights. Here and there. So one string there. One string here and another string this way. And then I'm going to put bulbs on each of them. And then I'm going to color them like so. Red. Just like that. And then green. Cool. Alright, I think I might do this one. Uh, let's see. Let's do blue, maybe? Alright, I didn't realize, but I did blue in the middle already, but it's alright. Uh, the point is, is that we want to make sure that you guys know how to do the folds in order to create this cool ornament. Alright, once you're done, uh, super simple. All you're going to do is rip the page out without uh, damaging the circles that you so fully created really nicely. Okay, so let me take one sec and take it out here we go all right let me make it easier to cut so let me just cut off this section right here and then let me cut this way all right things should be a little easier to cut now so why don't i get going all right so there's this circle right here bumped into the microphone there didn't mean to Here's one circle. Here's another circle. And as always, if you need help cutting, just ask an adult. Or just be super careful. I'm just going as fast as I can so the video isn't too long. All right, here's my next one. Do another one. Go. Does that? Oh, there's one more. Sorry. Okay, my ornaments are all done and colored. All it is left is to um, assemble it. So in order to assemble this, you wanna make sure they're all facing the correct direction that you want. Uh, so make sure that your snowmen or your trees are not upside down, like how this one is. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna fold them all into tacos left to right. So here's mine right here, and the design's in the inside. The design is on the outside, so you're folding them inwards like this. Here's a tree, snowflake, it doesn't matter which way I fold it. Um, let's see. I want to make sure I fold the hat the right way, though. And last but not least, my Christmas tree lights. All right. Next up, you're going to need a glue stick. And while they're folded, you're going to fold one side, and you're going to stack them. So be careful of which direction they're facing. You don't, you don't want to make sure that they're upside down or anything like that. So make sure you keep them in a specific order and keep track of which way they should be going. So here's my first taco. Notice how it's folded. Take one and put it right on top. Notice how I'm not opening anything. I'm not opening any of these folds I did. Here goes another one. Glue stick is rolling because it's a slanted table. All right, here's another one. 
All right. So once you're done gluing all your tacos together, I'll show you guys how to finish it off. Oop. All right. So I glued all my tacos together. You'll know if you did it the right way if you open it and then it kind of fans out like this. So as you can see, I could have done another five and then it would have completed the whole entire sphere. Uh, but in our case, what we're going to do is I'm going to glue the last one. And then as you close it, so you're going to pick it up and then you're going to put it to the beginning taco, just like this. You're just going to go over and together like that. And there, your ornament's all done, basically. All you're going to do now is you can either use a hole punch to make a hole on top, or you can use a paper clip and kind of stab the top how you like. But I'm going to play it safe. I'm going to hole punch the top. Let's go do a random spot. There you go. Paper's going to fly. <laughs> And then you have a hole on top, and then what you're going to do is that you can put a paper clip like this, and then flip the paper clip around the other way, and you should have a nice hook, just like so, for the bottom. So as you can see, it's hooked on the bottom like this, and in order to prevent it like this, you're just going to create a hook just like that. So now, you can hang on a branch properly. So anyways, that's how you do a pretty cool ornament. I like it the way it is. It's pretty cool. I like it a lot. So anyways, that is this project. I hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.